Hello everybody and welcome to the much anticipated Jurassic Park Collection Tour video. You've asked for it and I'm finally getting a chance to uh, film it and deliver it to you guys. And what better time than the 25th anniversary of Jurassic Park. Uh, I have personally been collecting Jurassic Park on and off for 25 years. Uh, starting 25 years ago when I was 8 or 9 years old and I got my first Jurassic Park action figure, uh, Dr. Alan Grant. And uh, this spawned my obsession with the franchise, the toys, uh, just the merchandise in general. And uh, it's been a lifelong passion of mine. And uh, I'm pretty obsessed with it, as you can tell if you follow me on Instagram. And you can see all the stuff behind me. Uh, I am absolutely obsessed with Jurassic Park. Um, so I'm going to take you on a tour of the things that I have now. Uh, my collection isn't the largest in the world. I don't have... Uh, complete stuff. I don't have everything. I don't have everything in the box, you know, but the pieces that I have um, hold a special place in my memory and uh, I have a memory for each one of the things that I have. Uh, most of the stuff that I have got uh, in my collection is things that I have bought off of eBay uh, and I don't have a lot of original stuff left because I did play with it when I was a kid and most of it just doesn't exist anymore. I have a few pieces, but uh, Grant is by far the oldest thing that I have in my entire collection. Um, but sit back, relax, and hold on to your butts because I'm going to take you on a tour now. So uh, I'll see you guys at the end of the video. So we'll start here on the top shelf in the left corner of my room. And this is just my custom Carnotaurus that I made out of a Lindbergh model in my uh, painted, repainted Indominus Rex. Glider Packy and Malcolm, a couple of Pteranodons that I repainted from Jurassic Park 3. Uh, moving down, we have the Thrasher T-Rex and some of the uh, Hunters from the Lost World. The Bull T-Rex. And moving on down here, we have some of the smaller dinosaurs from the Lost World line. The Stegosaurus and the Packy, the Raptors, Baby T-Rex, all of these ones were some of my favorite dinosaurs that I ever had. Uh, moving down, we have both of the uh, Mercedes-Benz Lost World cars, the Jungle Tracker, I believe they're called. Uh, another Pteranodon in the back. Another Lost World Chasmosaurus in the back, and then of course our uh, Lost World heroes with the uh, hard to find Nick Van Owen. Shout out to uh, Bring Back Kenner Toys for hooking me up with that guy. Uh, down here I have the mobile command center box. And then we move over here, there's just another shelf full of random dinosaur doubles that I have. And then we're moving up, some more doubles of the uh, Kenner trike, some packies. And then moving up here we have some of the uh, Kenner dinosaurs and the repainted Parasaurolophus, some of the Pteranodons in the back, and a repainted Series 2 Dilophosaurus. And moving over here, some more of the Kenner dinosaurs. Of course, you know, the Gallimimus doesn't like to stand up, so it's laying down. Uh, repainted Ankylosaurus to match the Series 2. Some more Raptors in the back on the fence. There's the Baryonyx. And then moving down here, I have another Thrasher. Some more of the Lost World Stegosaurus. And the Parasaurolophus, and a couple more of the uh, Snapjaw Raptors, which were some of my favorite Raptors. Just big and hardy, great toys. Uh, down here we have some, a couple of custom vehicles, custom Jeep, the uh, custom Jungle Explorer that I did with uh, real working lights, and then a uh, custom Lost World vehicle that I did. I really like this one a lot. Kind of a Mad Max. Moving over here, we have uh, Lost World Hand Puppets. The Velociraptor and the T-Rex. 
And then moving up here is the shelf of a few of my customs. The uh, sick triceratops that I recently did in a video. And the uh, Lost World Packy. And a Hasbro Raptor. And a Thrasher T-Rex. And moving up here we have another baby or a young T-Rex. Good old Jungle Explorer and then the Horizon T-Rex here in the back. Kind of balanced on the shelf. Alright, moving up here to the top shelf are all my little figures with the uh, command compound. I have a few custom humans in here. John Hammond, uh, Tim, Gennaro, and then you might not be able to see him in the back. Samuel L. Jackson, the chain smoking guy. He's in the back. Lost World Stamp, uh, the new Fallen Kingdom Dilophosaurus. And then here's some more uh, figures. There's my custom Lex Murphy with her little purple hat. Apone from uh, the Kenner's, uh, Kenner Aliens line. I like to use him as uh, Ray Arnold because of his battle damaged raptor arm. Kind of fits in great. Uh, moving on down, we have some more the Kenner figures. Uh, Rexy, who still works, I think. And the Bush Devil Tracker. And there's Roland Tembo and another variant of the Nick Van Owen. Uh, here we have the Horizon Brachiosaurus, which is one of my favorite pieces in my collection. Towers over everything. And in the back, I have a few uh, boxed figures. Some of the Micro Machine, or I'm sorry, Matchbox, Rage Rig, or Rage Rig. Uh, there's the uh, Roland Tembo variant. And then the Packy and the Velociraptor. These were the very first two dinosaurs I remember getting back in 97. And, uh,. I just love those two, even though they're so basic, but they're just awesome little dinosaurs. Uh, here, just uh, some little uh, tchotchke things that I have framed. The Valentine's Day cards uh, for the Jurassic Park movie, which I just think are so cool. Little cheesy uh, love sayings on them. Your dino might keep smiling. Very cool. Uh, this is a map of... Isla Nublar, and I believe I got that from SGZ Collectibles. Uh, I think they sent that with something that I bought. Uh, let's see, a few other things here. A little postcard with Timmy and the Raptors in the kitchen, and some really uh, rad looking um, 90s Jurassic Park merch. old uh, Dilophosaurus uh, spitter instructions. Moving on over here, I have a few more uh, boxed figures. Ellie, the uh, die-cast dinosaurs, some Lost World finger puppets. And then down here we have Tim Murphy. And then moving on over, we have of course the super colossal T-Rex by Mattel. Another piece that I'm, I'm absolutely uh, just loving. Love this thing. Uh, and down here we got some more Lost World finger puppets. Lost World Koosh. Some more finger puppets back there. Uh, the Lost World baby dinos. And the uh, golden little golden book, Jurassic Park book, which is really cool. I have some pictures on my Instagram page of the inside of the book. It's really awesome. Uh, Jurassic Park Gates. Down here we have a little uh, Micro Machines Lost World playset. Little Triceratops, Stegosaurus, and a little T Rex in the back. I think that's a baby T Rex, and then uh, I believe that's supposed to be a Roland Tumbo. But this is a really cool piece. Moving down here we have uh, Nick Van Owen in the High Hide. 
my Pegasus Triceratops that I painted, the Mobile Command Center, the uh, Blue Baby T-Rex, which is a really cool T-Rex. Uh, down here, not much, but uh, a couple fence pieces, and then the making of Jurassic Park and the making of the Lost World. Uh, plush Lost World stuffed animal and a couple of Lost World comic books, which are really cool pieces. Moving down here, uh, let's see, we have the Jurassic Park or the Jurassic World VR headset, which is pretty neat. Uh, the Lost World uh, trapper set or gun set, whatever that is. Uh, let's see, this is just a painted um, Imagine X Apatosaurus that I did. Parasaurolophus carcass from the Lost World. Here we have some VHS that I've collected, the books, the watches, a little candy topper, a little Stegosaurus collectible, the mark of Jurassic Park. Now these are the binoculars that go with the uh, playset down there. We have a little baby T-Rex. These are all of the uh, Jurassic Park collector's cards. Uh, another Micro Machines or Matchbox, uh, Lost World Truck. Here's a little piece from uh, Nathy Vader. He sent me this. It's the uh, little Lost World, like I guess a little gift thing that you get in some uh, bag of treats or something. Uh, here's the McDonald's T-Rex that came out last year. It's a very cool piece. Uh, moving up here, we have Lunchbox, Jurassic Park Lunchbox for the 25th anniversary. And we have the Lost or Jurassic World lunchbox with the Raptor pack on the back. And moving up, we have old off-color Allen, Barbasol can, another uh, egg chamber from the com uh, command compound. Uh, then we have all the Funko Pops, the T-Rex, Malcolm, Injured, Grant. Nedry, Dilophosaurus, Hammond, another Ian Malcolm, and the Raptor. Uh, up here we have the uh, helicopter and the squishy T-Rex model that I painted. Here's the uh, chaos effect, Velociraptor, and a T-Rex skeleton, and then I have a few magazines framed here. This is the uh, 3D gift box from the Lost World. The Stegosaurus and a Compi on it. And moving down here, we have some framed cards, some puffy stickers, and then another set of puffy stickers, and another comic book that's framed, and another comic book that's framed. Alright guys, so that was a look at my Jurassic Park collection. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, for those of you who requested to see it, uh, this was for you. Thank you so much for uh, subscribing and supporting the channel. Um, if you want, you can uh, hit the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, remember, you can also follow me on Instagram, at Ted Brothers, and uh, Facebook, the Jurassic Park Compound. Uh, links in the description box below. To all you collectors out there, happy hunting. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.